Bendeley is an excellent reference manager. I used it throughout my PhD and my postdocs. This is how you get started. The first thing you need to do is head over to Mendeley.com and uh, you very simply click download up here. Once you've clicked on download, then it takes you to this where you set up for um, desktop and I'm running Windows so I can download it for Windows. Now here's the thing, you need to do two more steps and get two more tools before this becomes truly useful and we'll talk about those now. So first thing to do is download for Windows. Once you've downloaded for Windows, you click open. When you've actually installed Mendeley, you'll end up with this screen. So this is an Elsevier login screen. You need to create an account. If you don't have an account, it will prompt you to create one. But the first thing you do, whether you've got an account or not, is add your email. And it should be as easy easy as that and then you should be able to get into Mendeley Reference Manager. You also also get access to a synced online version of this if you don't have a desktop you can access. You can see here that you've got a sync, I'll show you that a little bit later. But here's the thing, before you do anything, before you upload any references and do anything, you need to go up here to tools. And here we've got the two tools you definitely need. The first thing you need to install is Mendeley Web Importer. That's for easily getting references into your library from the web, but it's not super easy because there's so many bugs. Mendeley sort it out, it was so annoying. I'll show you that in a minute. And also we need to install Mendeley site for Microsoft Word because that's where we'll be doing our writing for whatever we we're writing and wanting to reference and those are the tools you need. So first of all, let's start to install Mendeley Web Importer. So when you click on it, it will take you to here, Mendeley Web Importer. It's got 2.5 thousand ratings and only 2.4 stars. Bah, bah. And that's because you'll see in a minute there's so many bugs. But I've already installed it here. You'd say install and then you get this little button up here. This little button, Mendeley. If you click it, it's meant to do stuff but I just ended up with this aborted screen come up all the time. Um, you're meant to be able to click on here, for example, and then import stuff. I click it uh, and nothing happens. I'm using Vivaldi, my favorite browser, but I've heard that it's quite sort of like buggy and finicky for all different types of browsers. So if you want to use this, I think Chrome is what I managed to get it to work on. So here it is. But uh, look, here's the issue is that it sort of like just decides what it wants to do. Sometimes it stays open, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know how to work it uh, without it just sort of like doing its own thing. But here we go. I've navigated to one of my papers, which is online. And if I want to uh, save this, all I have to do is click up here onto Mendeley Web Importer. If you're not signed in, I'll show you that. You actually need to sign in. Here we are, sign out. Let's hope it works. All right, all these things sort of like pop out. Um, but there we are. This is what you get But when you first open it. So let's sign in and let's fingers cross it works. So there we are. This is all of the details I've had saved before. Great. Um, and I'm going to click sign in and that should then put all of the references that I've got from my library, which we'll put in in a minute, in here. Brilliant. But this is the thing is, okay, well, I've clicked up here and here are all of the journal articles that you can actually import to your library from this page. It's taken all of these on the side and all sorts, but look, um, yeah, it's taken all of these and all of the ones that it's found on the page, which is brilliant. But ultimately, I only want this one, so I can click that and click add. And then also you can sort of save it in different um, collections or different places. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that is the web importer. That is how you get this. The last thing you need to install is the Microsoft Word citing thing. So there's a couple ways you can do that. First of all, you can go up to tools. You can click install Mendeley site for Microsoft Word. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister. I need to try really hard. Once again, 1.9 stars. Ooh, it's not doing too well. But if you click here, it'll actually take you to the Microsoft 365 sort of uh, dashboard, which is the online version. I don't use that very much, but if you do, that's great. But I am going to use it in my desktop Word. Now, if you don't have it, you should go to home and you need to click add-ins. Once you click add-ins, you get this Mendeley site. If it doesn't pop up here, I mean, I've got it here because it's added, but it was in popular add-ins. If you can't find it, you need to type in Mendeley and then you'll see Mendeley site will pop up and then you literally just click add and it all works nicely. Okay, once it's in, then we can go to references and we get this button, Mendeley site, site with Mendeley. I'll close this to show you what it looks like before you've even clicked it. And then we click here, click. 
and we get all of our references available directly in Word. Okay, those are the three things you absolutely need to do before you even start installing references. Um, one thing and a place I think you need to know about is the Mendeley dot com. Oh, I've done something. Cancel. Mendeley dot com and then go to library. There we are. This is where your online library is stored. And so here we are, signed in today. This is the one I want. And there's my password, great. And so not only do you have it on desktop, you have it online and you can access that in Word um, for when you're writing. So this is the online version. You can see it's very, very similar to the desktop version, which is this. In fact, if I toggle it, there is no difference, difference, no difference, no difference. Okay, this is gonna confuse me. So I'm gonna get out of this because I do not like that. Okay, here we go. We are now in Mendeley Reference Manager and this is how you add references. There's a number of ways you can do it. I'll show you my favorite way first before we do anything. Throughout my PhD, the first thing I did was either go to file and say watch folder and then you can go and find a folder that you will just dump your reference references into and it will just automatically put any references, PDFs that you put in that folder into Mendeley. That's what I did. It was just like a no brainer. I didn't have to go in and sort of do stuff all the time, but nonetheless, there are other ways to do it, but I like having a watched folder. So you click there, you can say watched folder. This is the one I want to watch and you click open and it will just sync everything up. Very, very cool, very easy. That's what I like. Something that Zotero doesn't have natively. You can get a plugin, I think, but uh, that is how I used it throughout my entire PhD and postdoc. Super easy. But there are also ways that you can add references. Okay, references up here, import files from computer, import folders. So if you want entire folders in there, that's what you do. And then you can also um, watch folder, like I said, and that's what I used primarily. Okay, very, very simple to put references in. Let's have a look at the interface. Once you've got a few files in here, you've got all of this which is just a really, I don't know, nice way of uh, showing you all of your references, but it can get very, very long if they are all in the same collection. So I recommend you put collection and group. So if you've got one for your research group, you can put it there. If you've got different collections, i.e. you want to put references in different themes, like this is my transparent electrode theme, this is my OPV theme, this is my paper theme, all of those different collections can go in separate folders or different, um, yeah, collections is what they're called. Um, and ultimately, this is what you've got. Super easy, very familiar to those that have come across from Zotero or use any sort of reference manager. These are the references you've imported. So we can click here, for example, and we get all of the information that we need about this journal. If anything isn't right, has imported incorrectly, all we have to do is click here and we can put in the information here. Very, very simple. Um, and then we say get PDF. Um, we've got an abstract which we can read, collections, it's not in any collections at the moment. There's files that I've put up to it, which is you know the pathway um, to high throughput um, PDF file that I've got and uh, the different identifiers. All of these identifiers in Scopus, DOI, ISSN, all of these are automatically populated, but if they are incorrect, this is where you would update all that information. Super easy, super cool, and we like it. You can also annotate stuff. You can also say you've got like a notebook so you can sort of start typing out your thoughts about particular references. I never really used that, um, but nonetheless, uh, you can use it if you want. Another thing you can do is double click, go away, there we are, double click on a reference and if there is a PDF associated with it, it will pull it up and you can see here there's all things you can do with like a normal PDF document. The one thing I like about it here, here there's a hand so you can, whoa, that's quake. That's a bit lame. Okay, and then here we can annotate. So we can highlight text and we can say a highlight rectangle. Let's go look, look at a highlight rectangle. Give me something to highlight here, I like this. Ooh, highlight rectangle. Ooh, I like that. Look at that lovely highlight rectangle. You can highlight text. Oh, look at that highlight text. So that's how you do it. You can also change the colors. Um, and you know, this is a good place if you just want to read a PDF that is uh, yeah, in your reference uh, manager. Now if I click this, 
there we are. It's gone and it's taken us back to where you can upload all of your references and you can see them. Great. So that is a very, very simple way of navigating through your references, adding them to Mendeley. But next thing is so important is how can you use Mendeley in Word? Okay, now we're in Word. Super easy way of citing. There's a couple of little tricks that you need to know about. Here is some text that I've written that I want to use my references to support and provide credibility to. So first thing we do is head to references and then if you've put it into Word, the Mendeley site app, then here we've got Mendeley site, click this and it will pop up here. And you've got all of your references down the side. All we need to do if we want to reference something, let's say I wanna put a reference in here, is I can go down and I can say, actually, I wanna insert this one. I can insert more if I want. Let's have a look. I wanna see, no, that's not a good one. That's not a good one. There are those two are the ones I want to insert. So I can insert two citations, brilliant. And you can see you've got one and two. Now, here's the thing. There's a couple of things you need to do and this is very important. The first thing is go to citation settings and change citation style. I've put ACS Nano, I found that earlier, but if there are other different types of styles that you want, you can click here, search for another style. So let's have a look. I want Nano and let's see what we end up with. So I want ACS Applied Nano Materials. Yes, that's what I want, update citation style, and then the entire document will be formatted for that particular paper. Mwah, absolutely love it, so, so easy. But you'll notice one thing. You'll say, Andy, there's no bibliography or reference list at all. That's because you've got to add it manually. Once you've got a couple of references in there, you need to then go to references. Hang on, let me remember how to do this. There we are, insert bibliography. So click on these two dots up here and you've got insert bibliography. Click there and your biblio bibliography, bibliography will be inserted at your cursor location. Continue, bonk. And then you can see this is where it gets put in. Brilliant, super easy, and as you type, as you change things, it will adjust and change and uh, make sure that, you know, what you cite first comes up first, then if you were to change things, it would change and it keeps it alive. So here we do have to put like references. There we are, everyone's happy, and this is how you use it in Word. Super, super easy. Um, I don't think there's anything else really to sort of note about this, it's just bare bones, exactly what you need to do. Um, there is more here, but you know, you probably wouldn't use these. Launch site tour if you get a little bit confused about what you're doing. But ultimately, this is everything you need to know. And uh, using it in Word is very, very sort of simple. It just works. I really like it. I used it throughout my entire PhD. Great. If you're a reference manager nerd, the next thing you should check out is this video where I talk about how to use Zotero to its full potential and it's got AI integrations that I absolutely love. Go check it out.